TAP PFN is a transformer based model which you can use for tabular data. This model is pre trained on hundreds of millions of synthetic tabular data sets. It performs in context learning, enabling high quality predictions through a single forward pass without any data set specific training. No hyperparameter tuning required or gradient descent on your data. In this video, we are going to install it locally and we will be testing it out on some of the use cases. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and if you want to help the channel, please consider becoming a member. Please follow me on X if you are looking for AI updates without any hype, without fluff. Now, this is one of those models or tools which require thorough understanding but once you understand it, I think this could be really really beneficial because this is state of the art in a true sense. The latest version which is TAB PFN uh, 2.5 represents a major advancement. Scaling to data sets with up to 50,000 samples and 2,000 features while delivering state of the art performance on benchmarks like TAB Arena where they have outperformed tuned gradient boosted trees like XGBoost which is a classical AI and also lot of other matching complex ensembles like Autogloon all in seconds which is very very important especially for production use cases. One of the good thing is that it natively handles real world messiness including uh, missing values, categorical and texture features, outliers and mixed data types with calibrated probabilities and strong generalization even on small or noisy data. So if you deal a lot with tabular data in your enterprise, in your production, I think this tab PFN would really shine in use cases where speed, simplicity and accuracy matters most such as rapid prototyping in data science, low data regimes like biomedicine, drug discovery or even in clinical risk models. You can also very quickly benchmark it against traditional models or production scenarios. There are a lot of other use cases even with embeddings and um, a few other things in a traditional or generative AI and you can check it out on their github repo i will drop the link in videos description i will talk a bit more around this tool and model but for now let me show you a quick demo i'm going to use this ubuntu system i have one gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram i am going to create a virtual environment if you're looking to rent a gpu or vm or cpu on very affordable price you can find the link to their website in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. And now let's install tab PFN. So first I'm installing some of the prerequisites like torch and stuff and then tab PFN. This is going to take a couple of minutes. While that happens, let me take you through this architectural diagram which primarily shows you how T uh, tab PFN works in a very very simple way. I'm not going to assume you're a data scientist or a machine learning. The top part shows two key ideas. First, tab PFN was trained on millions of synthetic data sets by feeding it training data, asking it to predict test labels and then it adjusts the model to minimize prediction errors. This teaches it general patterns of how data behaves. Second, once trained, you can give tab PFN any real world data set like training plus test rows and make and then it makes accurate predictions in a single forward pass without any further training. And we already have discussed it before. The bottom uh, part such as this illustrates the model's internal structure. The tabular data is treated like a small table where each row is an entry and each column is a feature. The transformer uses attention to look across features which is column and across samples which is rows. Then an MLP which is a small neural network in the transformer uh, block turns the processed information into a full probability distribution for the predicted value of the missing entry and missing entry is shown as an orange hair. And you can also see that it is also shown as a histogram of uh, possible outcomes. So in short, what this is showing, tab PFN 
learns from synthetic data how to quickly understand and predict on any new real table in one fast step. So I think this is a great uh, blessing for data scientists who are looking to apply uh, you know, machine learning within the context of transformer architecture, especially for classification and a regression. Okay, let's go back to our terminal. And everything is installed. Now let me show you how this thing works. So this is a simple code which is showing us a full binary classification using tab pfn on breast cancer wisconsin data set i think which has around 569 or 570 samples and 30 features to predict malignant versus benign tumor it so what this code is doing it is loading the data splitting it into training 67 percent and test 33 percent sets it initializes that tab pfn classifier on our gpu and then it fits it by placing training data into context for in context learning so no actual training is happening here and then it is predicting labels and probabilities on the test set in seconds and that evaluates with accuracy and uh, roc auc often hitting around 98 percent performance but let's check it out in our terminal so i'm just going to run this and as i have run this it was quite quick now but it is it has given me the error the error is very simple one thing we need to do we need to install hugging face library so that we could log in with our read token which you can grab from your hugging face profile it's a free token and now i am logged in you just have to run this let me now run that command again the app.py and now it is downloading the model also it was already finished you saw how quick it was but uh, one more thing you might have to go to hugging face card and i will drop the link in video's description and then you would have to accept the uh, <clears throat> terms and conditions which is just filling in your information and clicking on accept and that should be done okay so this one has already finished and you can see how high the accuracy is the output is small but it is doing a lot of things so primarily uh, we have run it on breast cancer test set and it has achieved 97.34 percent accuracy correctly classified you know all the tumors as malignant or benign and an <clears throat> outstanding roc auc of 0.995 which is extremely close to the perfect score of one so what it means is that it it separates the two classes with near perfect confidence and that is what matters and if you are wondering what this thing is this stands for receiver operating characteristic area under the curve you know it was really hard to memorize it but i think i have said it right this measures how well the model's predicted probabilities distinguish between positive which means malignant and negative which means in this case benign classes which in a value of 0.5 is random guessing one is perfect separation and 0.995 indicates exceptional discriminative power so this is what this one is doing now this is the example of classification now let me quickly show you an example of regression so this is a code for regression and regression simply means that in machine learning the task where the model predicts a continuous numerical value for example a house price or a car price temperature or any sort of sales amount rather than discrete categories like in classification positive or negative zero or one that sort of thing so continuous numerical value regression um, discrete categories classification so the code which you are looking at on your screen it shows tab pfn for regression on the california housing data set with around over 20,000 samples eight features like income and location to predict median house values in 100k units again loading the data and then we are doing the tab pfn regressor and we are doing in context learning with no actual parameter training and then we are going to predict it uh, so uh, the things which we are predicting is continuous values on test data set and also evaluating average scared error 
lower is better anyway so let's go back and then allow me to run this app dot by it is running it is loading the model and all that stuff maybe I, I can also show you the gpu consumption if i might so it is just consuming this much i'll just so it just you know stayed right under 6 gb of vram so this is the output and you can see that it has again achieved a low mean scared error msc of 0.16 and a strong r2 score of 0.87 on the california set so what it means in simple words that it has done 87 percent of variance in house prices with an average error of 0.169 so i think within seconds without any tuning training the performance is excellent so look i think if you're a data scientist deal with a lot of tabular data looking for classification regression and there are few other things too which you can check on their repo this is delivering really state of the art tabular performance for these sort of use cases with zero tuning so it's quite a powerful drop in tool for your machine learning workflow that's it let me know what do you think please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member and please follow me on access that helps a lot thank you for all the support